Hello everyone, welcome back to Darksiders Warmaster Edition with me, Arctic Dragon Mama, and Shagoki! Hey ho, oh, I'm still being a menace at making fun of the poor girl. To be fair, I probably just deserve some of it. Now we're going to try <laughs> to fight Silitha, the spider, and let's see if we can actually beat her in a video. Woohoo! Maybe. I don't know how I yeah, we, we we saw that the last time, so we we just skip it, right? Yeah. How close do I have to be? Yeah, apparently it's not really consistent with how long this chain is. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Now. Hmm. Hold still, little one. Oh. Don't struggle. It'll be over soon. I could have sworn I was dodging. You should probably try doing shorter combos because uh, that way she won't hit you when she's teleporting. Ah! You're a fool to trust somehow. I mean, yes, shorter combos mean we would take Lemma to, be, to defeat her, but at least we take less hits that way. Hold still, I mean, if we get in like three hit combos max, that's enough. Hold still, little one. Ah, don't, don't attempt it. I mean, if you get close to it, when it teleports into the corner, you might want to use the chain. But if you're yeah. too far away, just sit it. In the middle, when it teleports back onto the corner. Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Good. Don't struggle. It'll be over soon. As, she, as soon as she said talking, that's basically my my time limit. Yeah. Oh, now you could change. Dodge. See. That's working. Ah. 
Ow. Even if you take one or two hits like this, this could work. Okay, we're already on the second spot. This looks good this time. Uh, are you sure about that? You just need to be more patient. Don't, don't, don't. Sit it out. Don't struggle. It'll be over. Go get it. Careful now, we almost got it. Do it? Do they do it? There it is. You'll see. Oh. So what now? Now I need to uh, grapple up and then to her. Like that. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, and after that, placed. the last treasure of this dungeon is basically where we are here down in this uh, hole. Okay. After he takes her heart, I'll tell you where it is. Okay. Okay, so... For the last heart. There should be a platform with the cross... That we, that we can activate with the cross blade, and then we can grapple onto it as it raises. And at the next floor we need to jump off and grab an artifact. So it's on yeah. this floor? Yep, I see it now. There it is. You said this is the last one? That's the last one of the dungeon. Okay. 
Oh. You want to jump off? Wait. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to go back down. Because I do take fall damage, I believe. <sighs> anyway, we did it. Mm -hmm. Finally. And now we can probably... To get to the final... Previous dungeon. Let's see, there's a raft shard that we couldn't get. Mm -hmm. Which is basically... Good question, where is it? Uh, just prior to reach the giant worm, there is a room with the three gormals hanging just... Ah, uh, yes, right, that's that one. And instead of crossing over uh, to the other tunnel, we would need to glide over and climb the growth on the right and then log above to a red grapple point, which you need to use and jump across the ledge and follow the path around to the chest that contains the chart. So basically we need to, to go down to the south end again. Basically at the southern area. Yeah. So, what? Somewhere over here? The southern exit, where we get to the warm. Or, well. Look at the map, the southern exit. You're going north. Mm -hmm. South, and right then here? east. Basically where, the, where this yellow star is, down there. Okay. That direction, there is where we get the raft shard. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, Ooh, there's is a thing that over where here. we need to go? I know that there's like a thing over here. I don't remember where the explosives are. Yes, the, we missed we missed that. It may be. No. Doesn't say there is one here. Interesting. Huh. Hmm. I'm confused. But, according to my list, we miss a Raft Shard, an Abyssal Armor Piece, and an Overlord Artifact in this area. Okay, so, I'm heading this way. You said instead of going to the exit, go where? From there! Uh, from where you are now. Mm -hmm. We need to follow this path. Basically in the direction of the star. In the direction of the, the star, star, you're going away from it. And there should be... There should be a... A room of three gore moss hanging above a wire. Oh, look. Ooh, oh, what's that? Shard. Right, this is one that we didn't get. Uh, 
yes, I think that's a tunnel. Yes, yes, yes. We need to go where the where the three gormors are. And it says, oh, these. Instead of crossing over to the other tunnel, we need to glide over uh, and climb the grove on the right. That one, apparently, yep. yes. And from there... Uh... And from there, there's a red gravel point. I don't think that's the... Did you, did you went left again? I think I was talking about from that perspective, which this would be on the right. Because I didn't see anything on the right side over there. Anyway, what's in that? It's just souls. Yeah, but... Uh... We basically need to locate some kind of, uh, some kind of red thing where we can grapple on. That is somewhere in here. And that would take us to the raft shard. I have no idea what. Well, look oh around. No. Try so jumping. This side. Try jumping to the right this time. Yes. Well, use your wings to glide over all the way. If he would jump, I could do that. Now climb up and see if there's anywhere where we can use the abyssal chain on. This is the only view I get. Okay, can you go to the other side? Yes. Go down. Go down. Further down. I'm trying. He literally won't move. Wow, is it that bad now? Ah, okay. Okay, look around. Is there anything where we can grapple onto with the... Uh, climb a little more. Climb a little more. Okay, now look to the north. There should be something where we can grapple on with the... I don't understand this. It says there is... You sure it's over here? Okay, it says... It says the room of the three Gormas hanging above a wire. That is this. Instead of crossing over to the other tunnel, glide over... Uh, across to the other tunnel. Glide over to and climb the grove on the right. Which we did. Look above and you see a red gravel point. Grapple up to it and jump across to the ledge and follow the path to the chest. Yeah, I see no so, apparently, gravel point. Yeah. I don't know. That's what it says. I can only read what it says. So unless you're missing something... Unless we're missing something here, and I'm absolutely positive that we don't have it yet, because how would we? Well, uh, thing that I, I could think of is that maybe we need the we need the mask. I don't think so.
Well, I mean, wasn't there stuff in the Leviathan's Drift that we were missing as well? Um... They are... Let's see... I can just go there. In the crossroads? In the crossroads there is a raft shot that we're missing. Uh, on the Scalding Gallo, there is a Soldier Artifact we're missing, and a Champion Artifact, and another Wrath Shard. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to the crossroads right now. Okay, I'm at the crossroads. Silver, I liked such a okay, in the crossroads. You have souls to my um, in the crossroads, it says just above the broken bridge. So basically inside the building, there's a grappling point. That one you should find by yourself, right? Inside the building that leads to the next area. Yeah, inside that big building. Inside that one? No, that leads to the next area. Where no. is the next? Yes, that. You find that by yourself because the grappling point is quite what obvious. we go. Yes, that's that. Mm -hmm. Okay, next on the list is the Scalding Gallows. There is a soldier artifact that requires the Chronomancer, a champion artifact that requires Abyssal Chain and Shadow Flight, and then there is one more that requires Abyssal Chain, Shadow Flight and Void Walker. Well, Voidwalker we can't get till later. Yeah, but Scalding Gallo you can mm -hmm. go to, so... Okay, Scalding Gallows. Okay, let's see. We'll start with the one that requires Chronomancer. On the way to the dry road, okay. uh, you need to get past the fast closing gate. Do we have that one? Where well, we need to activate Chronomancer? I honestly don't know uh, which road led to it. I think we have that one. 
Uh, how about the sh Abyssal Chain and Shadow Flight one? Before using the fan, uh, you would need to activate a panel in the hallway that is before the pan, and that would easily knock out an, uh, another collectible after that artifact. So let's see, while riding the rotating fan, we need to look for a gap in the lower walls. Just after the blade, you're standing on passes this gap. You would need to jump or glide through it and press when the prompt pops up to grapple up the ledge. And then use the glide point to reach a much higher ledge and see an floating champion artifact. So this way? On the way to the on the way to the dry road. I think. No, wait. Uh somewhere where there is a, f a big fan. So look at the map. Where is a big fan in this area? I think where you going now is the right direction. It sounds like a big fan. Yes, and Basically, the here. fan is in a... In a... In a hole in the south... Basically, to the south, there is a little room. Can you open the map real quick? Um... Yeah, to the south, in the area where the, where the south fan is now pointing to. Okay. There so is the artifact. The champion artifact. That's where you need to go. It basically says, while riding the rotating fan, look for a gap in the lower walls. Just after the blade passes this gap, jump or glide through it and then press uh, the prompt to put up to basically grab it and yeah, basically that. And then, basically there should be something to grapple and see the artifact, yes. There should be something to grapple to in the area here. I don't see anything. Behind you maybe? I mean there has to be something because clearly we can... Clearly, we can get there somehow. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Is there a glide point here somewhere that we're missing? I'm gonna check something real quick. Down there! Down there! Down there! Where? Or is it that? Yes, that's it. And now up. Good eye. Crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And since we don't have Void Walker yet, uh, that's a no no.
Well, uh, the jump pass still has one that requires the abyssal chain. It's a lifestone shard. Oh, well, we'll be sure to get that one in the next video. Because as of right now, I think our time has come. See everyone next time.